Hi, I'm Daryl C. Silva, and I'm a filmmaker. Now I'm just waiting for a room full of people to say, Hi, Daryl, just like an AA meeting, because we all know that filmmaking can be an addiction. We all know it can be an emotional struggle. It's been both of those for me. It's all I've ever wanted to do since I was four years old. It's all I've ever done. My work shows in that. And not only that, but when my grandmother passed away some years ago, I vowed to her that I would pursue this dream. And now with my father and the health condition he's in, I vow the same to him. And I will let neither of them down, nor myself. So on that note, here is my short film, Footprints. Enjoy. Thank you. My name's Trey DeZazzo. I'm 16 years old and I have a lot of questions about life. Well, no more than most people have. And I'm not talking about the questions that can be answered by the most brilliant scientist or sex expert. I'm talking about the questions that only somebody or something other than us can answer. Though until him and I get our chance to have a face-to-face, -face, I'm gonna keep searching. I always wonder, however, when we have our face-to-face, -face, will he be white? A woman? Wow, God's hot. Will he be black? Hey, don't act like you're not curious. I mean, what if TV concentrated on showing the things that people really wanted to know about instead of just flooding the airways with dreadful acts of violence? I mean, come on, are these dreadful acts meant to take away our hope and zest for living? To scare us possibly into a comfort zone? so that we start to slow down before we even speed up? What's the real reason why people die of cancer? Is there really no cure or is some sick prick holding out on us so they can make more money off this disease? Is there such a thing as destiny? Or all these so-called coincidences in my life just a crock of crap? Why can't I see dead people? Why can't I see it all? Is heaven really up in the sky or is it down here on Earth? Huh, I hope not, because this place sucks! There's always gonna be a downer. I mean, these questions consume me, and I have every reason in the world to have them, and to be as curious as I am, because during the early stages of my childhood, I was fed a lot of information that you could say, by most standards, would be fairly questionable. You see, I was raised by a Christian mom and an atheist father. Trey, God forgives. Even someone like Charlie Manson can go to heaven if he believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Trey, I don't believe in anything I can't see. My mom used to tell me when I was young that if I had enough faith, I could part the sea or the ocean like Moses did in the Ten Commandments, or Charlton Heston, rather. Though, I tried actually standing in front of it one day for about four hours, and it didn't move. So I stopped believing in God for a bit. That was until I lost my parents in a car accident last year. And since then, I've spent four days a week standing on the sand on top of where they wish to be buried, wondering why it happened. Just like the poem Footprints, I spent hours walking the beach, trying to feel a presence around me though I wish I could see, not just feel. I have a special place where I sit, because I believe there's a voice in my head that says, if I sit here long enough, maybe my father will come back to life for a moment and explain to me what it's like to be a man, since we never got that chance. I wonder though, is that the voice of God or is it just me experiencing early signs of depression? What is depression by the way? I know I see people every day walking through life as if they have no purpose, though is that called depression or giving up? I don't know what it was about these kind of people that made me want to talk to them and unlike most people rush to hand them a dollar. And then when I did it, I instantly felt better about myself. And see, what is that? What is it about that feeling where I instantly felt good about doing something that people say is good? Is it what they call this soul? I mean, does God place this thing inside of you when you're born that tells you right from wrong? I mean, you gotta figure that the man's gotta deal with billions of people whining every day about everything from losing their house to what man they're gonna marry to please find me a wife who's a nympho. And if God did decide to come down from this place, wherever it is, then I think it would be for a very good reason. Don't you?